So today I'm going to go over a couple of extremely fast external NVMe enclosures. Let's face it, I'm going to show you one that's really expensive and really fast, and one that's about half the price and just as fast. So if you want to see what it is and how you can save some money on external storage, stay tuned. So the first device we're going to look at is from Maowu. I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm not 100% sure on that. Correct me down in the comments if I'm wrong. Anyway, it's a Maowu 40 gigabit per second M.2 NVMe. It has a built-in fan and supports Thunderbolt 3 and 4 and USB 4. It's tool free and has an eight terabyte capacity. The case is aluminum. The NVMe that I'll be using for both of these enclosures is the Lexar one terabyte NM790. It reads up to 7,400 megabits per second and writes up to 6,500 megabytes per second. Now taking it out of the plastic, it does feel pretty nice. It's got a little weight to it. It is all metal. Now let's see if it opens up. It does open up, it is toolless. Now where's the fan? Let's go ahead and open this up. Just have to remove a few little screws. Be sure you don't lose them. We'll lift out the board very carefully. And there it is. It does have a little fan built in. So let's go ahead and get this back together. I must say that I am impressed with the quality of it. It's nice and solid. Let's get these screws back in. Now let's go ahead and open up the NVMe. There is a little rubber mounting nub. Go ahead and slide it in. Twist that nub to where it locks the NVMe in place. You're gonna remove the plastic from the cooling pad and put that right on top of the NVMe. Remove the other layer of plastic and just peel that right off. Now you wanna peel the, the plastic off of the aluminum cooling pad, put that on top of the silicon cooling pad. The next enclosure we're gonna test is from Sateki M.2 enclosure. It supports USB 4, 40 gigabytes per second, up to 16 terabytes, it's an all aluminum enclosure with a polycarbonate casing. And once again, we're using the same NVMe, the Lexar NM790. Once we get that open and take that out, may not need the screw that it comes with. Okay, I've taken the polycarbonate casing off just to see what it feels like. It is very solid and got good heft to it. Once we open it up, we see that it does have a silicon cooling pad in there as well. Let's go ahead and get the NVMe in there. Push this in, a little nub that just twists. Now remove the plastic from the silicon cooling pad. And this time we're gonna place it on the upper case right above where the NVMe is. Peel off the other side of the plastic. Close up the case. Be sure to pay attention to which side has the latch. And I wasn't sure if we should go ahead and put the polycarbonate on. So for the tests we're gonna do, I did not. For testing, I've connected both of these enclosures with Thunderbolt 4 cables. So the first test we're gonna run is gonna be on the Meiwu and select the five gigabit transfer because I wanna see what it can handle. Now I'm selecting the drive. I've named this one Navar, Star Trek fan. And then let's run the test.
test looks pretty quick. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and choose the other device, which I have named Vulcan. I'm go ahead and run this. Also very fast. And remember Vulcan is the Sateki, Navar was the Meiwu. So as you can see, both of them perform very similarly. Let's take a look at the price. The Meiwu, at time of filming this, is $59.99, plus you had a $10 off coupon. Not a bad deal. The Sateki, at the time of filming this, was $119. So, is the Sateki worth that much more than the Meiwu? Well, judging by the performance, I don't think so. Though with the Sateki, you can have a larger total storage amount. The Meiwu will only support eight terabytes, while the Sateki can support up to 16. Now, once again, I did use the Lexar one terabyte NM790 SSD. This was 6749. I do highly recommend this in VME. So I'll let you decide whether you think it's worth the extra price for the Satek. I will say this, this is just an initial test. So I do not know the longevity of either one. Sateki is a very well-known brand and they are known for quality. Meiwu, as far as I'm aware, is not as well known and uh, don't know about the quality. It does feel pretty good, it feels pretty solid, and it does have that built-in fan. So time will tell. Thanks for joining me. I hope you found this useful. Please like and subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. It helps the channel. And give me your thoughts down in the comments. Which one do you think is a better value? I'd love to hear from you. Till next time, bye-bye.